Hi, it's Vanessa here, the Salty Knitter, and I am getting ready to really give this new to me machine a workout. I'm going to knit pretty much the full needle bed. I have all of my needles in working position except for two on either end. So to start with, I'm going to use my garter carriage to cast on. Now, this machine is a brother, um, a brother 930. So before I start, I have um, the, the garter carriage is just to the side of the magnet at the or the position sensor before I turn it on. So when I turn it on, um, I'm it says ready. I'm going to press the memo button. And then I am going to slide the carriage over to my working needles, which is not very far. <laughs> and it's not detecting the garter carriage yet. I have the machine threaded with this black sparkly yarn. Not the best for video recording, but it's a yarn that a friend of mine will very much enjoy. So, we're using it. So, for my levers, I am setting lever number one to the C position. I am setting lever number two to these back and forth arrows. And I'm setting lever number three to this, um, what looks like an E-wrap cast on symbol. I've set my counter to one because it will not knit if it's at zero. It doesn't actually trip the counter when it's done casting on, or at least not so far as I've seen. But uh, like I said, if it's not set to one, the machine will not knit. Okay, if I've done everything right and uh, the machine is all good, I should be able to just hit the start button and have all of my needles be cast on. are cast on. Okay, so now that my cast on is complete and I've hung my um, cast on comb, I'm going to set the machine. So, step, clear, and that is five, three, seven. Step, see, one stitch to either side of center. Okay, so that is ready to go for the first few rows. Set that there. And I'm going to slide my garter carriage into position. If all goes well, I'll hit start and it will start knitting. Oh, 
Oh well. I don't really have my needles in position. I think I should push them back just a hair. I like to when I'm setting up the um, the cast on comb. It's easier if I just pull the needles forward just a little bit. But I forgot to push them back into position to start. Okay, now that's done. Now I will bring my garter carriage over. see if we're ready to go. Oh. So now this is an example of where I find machine knitting a little bit difficult. So I'm just kind of carefully pulling my carriage over because I want to show you. So Basically what's happened is I have remembered to change the row counter to four, but I have forgotten to do any of the other settings that I need to do in order for this garter carriage to knit back and forth. And this is something that I find, like I'm hoping with time, with practice, that doesn't happen so often. Because you can, you can wreck an entire project just because you forgot a step. So to... Like now that I'm done casting on, I need to move this lever to the G and I need to move this lever to this position. This can stay here because it is going to knit the first row from left to right. If I was knitting, well, I wouldn't be knitting the other way if I've cast on with the garter carriage. Okay, so now I'm going to put my um, carriage back in position. Make sure my yarn is not hung up on anything, and then uh, I'll hit the start button at that time. of garter stitch um, and now I can select another pattern so I'm going to go up here so you can see I'm going to hit step clear choose 487 step and that tells me it's 12 inches to or 12 inches, 12 stitches to each side of center, so one repeat is 24 stitches. And I am going to do I think I'm going to do um, Seventy-five rows, and I'm not going to record that part because that's going to take a pretty substantial amount of time to do. Um, so far, I'm just I'm really happy that the machine is knitting as well as it is. I do have one little loop at this end, but I can probably oh yeah I can fix that. 
and I did um, manage to get my yarn caught on the gate pegs at the other end so I do have a small loop there as well minor stuff you know you can deal with that all right then so I'm just gonna let this start and do its thing and I will come back um, when it's done okay so let's get ready to cast the scarf off now that it's knit um, so we're going to change the carriage settings to the Z, these two arrows, and to this. Alright, I'm going to set my row counter to 1. And then for a moment I'm going to move the carriage aside just so I can show you uh, a couple steps that need to be done. So I need to take this little tab off on both ends. I mean, you can't see the other end, but but what I need to do is I need to pick up the loop of the previous stitch. and hang it over the gate peg. And I need to do that on both sides. Now, if, um, so when you look in your Stitch World um, book, at the back it shows the um, graphs for the patterns for stitch patterns. And uh, there's black squares. So if I try to cast off without turning the machine off, it I think it skips the black squares, it only casts off the white squares. So to cast off, we turn the power off. And it still knits. So, here we go. Uh, I gotta pull it back into position. See what I mean about trying to remember all the steps? It's just, you have to set your carriage, you have to, it's just everything. Um, let's see, did I pull it over far enough? Nope. Okay, I'm going to turn it back on for a minute until it recognizes, and pull the garter carriage over. I'm trying to get it over just far enough that the machine recognizes it's here. Okay, there we go. All right, turn it back off. There we go. So now I'm just going to move this carriage aside.
okay, I swear sometimes I can be the most awkward person on earth. <laughs> because, uh, you know, somehow I uh, decided it was a good idea to reach around the ot light to hold this. All right, so that was the loop I hung on the gate peg, but you can see that it cast off for me. So all those stitches are cast off. Um, there are instructions to do a stretchier cast off, which I think think I would maybe use the next time because this one is a little more firm than I like or maybe I will experiment with um, loosening off the tension a little bit but there you have it it um, it's cast off so I have a very pretty scarf for a friend if I don't uh, mess it up in the next steps Okay, so I did end up having to um, knot off that thread that I didn't want to, but so be it. Um, what I'm going to be doing is um, I want to seam the scarf. I guess it's more a cowl along its uh, short end. So I'm going to look for approximate center and I guess before I start I'll make my life easier. and open the latches on the hooks. So that is my approximate center. I think I could really use some hand lotion here. I'm going to grab a row because I want to make a tight parsing. And off camera, I'm peering through my magnifier too. You can see it's just because it's left
Okay, now what I'm going to do is, um, okay, so I'm threading my normal carriage. And um, I'm holding the thread in the yarn in my hand um, just to because I am going to knit a row of stitches with my normal carriage and I don't want the tension to be very tight. So because I knit the scarf on tension seven with the garter carriage, on my regular carriage, I've set it to tension nine. So let's see how this goes. went okay so now I'm gonna take my yarn out of the carriage I think I just push the part button in and it won't, uh, yeah, it doesn't knit that way. Okay. Now, um, I'm used to, uh, my Singer carriage where there's a, uh, a release button that lifts the main part of the carriage so then you can bring it across without um, without uh, affecting the needles. So the next thing I'm going to do and here's where if everything goes right uh, um, it could be, you know, a little bit magical here because, you know, I didn't start knitting until I was older, so I don't have the skills for, um, sewing seams and whatnot. So what I'm doing is I am setting my garter carriage to cast off and now that I have that one row of knitting I'm going to attempt to cast off with the garter carriage so basically I'm using my garter carriage as a as a um, linker so I'm just gonna set that on the floor out of the way and Let's see what happens. Oh, one sec. Okay.
Okay. I'm going to cut the thread. And... And there we go. We have a seam. So all I have to do now is weave in my ends and we've got a pretty little neck warmer.